Hello, hello, hello guys. It is your girl Najwa. Thank you for being back to my channel. Please do me a favor and go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Click the bell so you'll always know when I post a new video and let's get into it guys. Lisa Renna is being scrubbed to the side. Finally, we don't have to deal with the shade. We don't have to deal with the trashiness anymore. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, at least for this girl over here, they're going to bring back the original Queen Bee LVP. Okay, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. So, Lisa Retta has been running her gigantic mouth off for what seems like ages. What seems like ages. And, I, I you know... We love the Real Housewives franchise on this channel. I don't know if I've talked about it before on here, but Lisa Vanderpump is my favorite. Other than Vicky Gumbelson, Nene Leakes, uh, LVP is my favorite because she just is classy. You know, she's got this like dark, you know, like subtle sneak up on you type of sense of humor. I just made a video about my grandma and my grandma was like that. So I love that. Like the people who could tell a joke with a just straight face. And from the beginning, I have always felt like Lisa Renna really did some weird stuff to just get LVP on out of the picture. Like, she, she, she was like, she was determined from the beginning to basically annihilate her. That, that's how I feel about Lisa Renna. Like, I feel like she was able to be on the show for this long not because people love Lisa Renna, not because she's just like that much of an ace. I think she just basically clawed her way up to the top, y'all. <laughs> and um, I really like Kyle Richards. I do. I like Kyle, you know? Like, I'm not going to say that she hasn't had her problematic moments. And we know now that that scene in the limousine was probably almost completely staged, you know, with her and her sister. With Kim, um, but generally, out of all the women, I find Kyle to almost be like the most relatable. I feel like she doesn't really bring well. She brings the drama. I can't even really say that. I just think that she's relatable. She she can laugh at herself. She can be funny. You know, whatever that is, she can be serious. And part of the reason that we have to recognize that Kyle is so um, popular is because of her early friendship with Lisa Vanderpump. I, I don't know, guys. Like, I feel like it was such a betrayal from on Kyle's end. That That is the one thing I hold against her is because I think that when you're living in Hollywood and Kyle grew up in that, that culture is just so nasty and catty and vicious, especially with these women who are living in Beverly Hills. So that adds another layer. Like as someone who's lived in Santa Monica, I mean, it's not Beverly Hills, but that culture is on one level. Beverly Hills like takes it to some other level, especially with those housewives. It's like, I feel like they get a little stir crazy. It's like they, you know, it's like Stockholm syndrome. And I feel like Kyle bought into that. I don't think that Lisa Vanderpump le leaked any stories. You know, from what I see from her, she is a just, she's a businesswoman. She's kind. She is, you know, no nonsense. I just, I, there was never any moment during the show where I questioned Lisa Vanderpump's integrity. And me, I, I, I just feel like I have a very good sense for this thing. Like my, my, my sense -o meter my empathy -o meter is, is just, is very tuned in and, I never ever got a moment where I just didn't feel like Lisa Vanderpump was being genuine. And I never got a moment where I felt like with many women on the Real Housewives franchise, I think they often will provoke, they will goad people into a reaction because, you know, that creates good TV, it creates good drama, which is Lisa Vanderpump, well, that's Lisa Renna, I'm sorry, that that's Lisa Renna. <laughs> like, you have on here the one side of Housewives who are like, you know, they are genuine people and they're just sassy all enough on their own. They're intelligent. They can hold their own. They can hold the conversation. They can hold the argument like Lisa Vanderpump, like Nene Leakes, like Vicki Gumbelson, my favorites. And it doesn't have to be any frills. It doesn't have to be any, um, you know, agenda behind that. It's just them being a bad bitch. 
<laughs> but there's this other housewife over here on this side where they realize maybe they're not winning the lottery as the most intellectual one, as the most intelligent one, as the most beautiful, as et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. And so I feel like they almost use this vehicle of drama to just put themselves to that point. And so um, I would love for the Queen Bee to come back. If Bravo is going to bring up, you know what? I, I feel like Bravo has this bad habit of sort of just like phasing women off you know it's like they're like oh are we gonna are we gonna keep Lisa Rinna on we're gonna bring her back you know and it's almost like we as the audience we know when it's the end of the road for you just go ahead you know just let it go you can you can feel it you can sense it when it's just toxic, you know, it's no longer funny. And I feel like that's the point that we got to with Lisa Renna. And um, it's so funny, Sebastian Soto was talking about how Lisa Renna's kids are like the bootleg version of Yolanda Hadid's kids. <laughs> it's so true. Oh, Yolanda Hadid, she goes in that list of, of a bad bitch too. Um, next would be Magali. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you all of my favorites. So and I like Lisa Renna too. It's just like you can tell she's she's got other agendas going on. So my favorites in terms of literal hierarchy. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know my favorites, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. But we will be talking about more tea on Real Housewives. Don't worry. At the top is Lisa Vanderpump. After that is it's a tie between Nene Leakes and Vicky Gunvalson. I really can't choose between the two of them because. Uh, they just are so OG Real Housewives. Like, they, they are literally the reason that the franchise is so popular that it is right now. I would say third, third runner-up would definitely be Magali from Real Housewives of Cheshire. Fourth would probably be Tamara Judge, which is like Tamara Judge. Tamara Judge and, um, uh... My God, what's her name? From New York, Crazy Eyes. Ah, I can't think of her name. Crazy Eyes from New York, you know who I'm talking about. She and Tamara will come into a close fourth place for me. Even though I know they're toxic, I know that they are problematic, okay? But both of them had screwed up childhoods. And you can basically understand why they're the way that they are. I, I have, I, I have, and I have had girlfriends like that. They're the type of girlfriends who are so fun, and when they're not drunk, they can actually be really, really, um, you know, down to earth to talk to. And um, but trauma and 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 uh, you know, trauma and childhood trauma is. It's a bitch. It's, it's a B-I-T-C-H. And so I feel like that's that's basically what you see from them. So, yes, they're crazy, but we, we, we try to make way in our hearts for them because, you know, what are you going to do? After that, I would say it would be, um, okay, after that, it would be Cynthia Bailey. After that, we would, it would be Cynthia Bailey. And then, um... <laughs> um Ramona that was who I was trying to figure out Ramona Singer so it would be Ramona after Cynthia and then lastly Luann or Luann and then Ramona I don't know I'm trying to get some more thoughts on it this is hard um <laughs> But you guys, let me know what you think in the comments about Lisa Renna getting the boot and a possibility of LVP coming back. What do you guys think? Uh, I will see you in the next video. Again, if you have not already, please go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Click the bell so you know when I always post a video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay.